Hi guys, this is Vivi, and first of all, I want thunderstorm. Just when I start recording, right? So, I've been away for so long, you guys, and I haven't done a talking video in a long, long time also. I think my last video is um, the Valentine's tutorial, which that was a while ago. But before I start with this video, I want to make a couple of announcements. The first one, and some of you might already know this, I started a new project back in January, January 1st, 2016, and that is called Pink Orchid Tech. As I have mentioned before, technology is another one of my passions, and as a matter of fact, my full-time job is technology, so I want Pink Orchid Tech to be a resources for bloggers and content creators, especially influencers in general, because it's not about YouTubers or uh, bloggers anymore, it's more about content creators. So that is the idea behind Pink Orchid Tech. It's basically online classes and also resources for technical help in relation to those topics. YouTube, blogging, social media, and everything involving content creators. So I will have separate classes for each topic. So the first one I am working on is the blogging class. And it's going to be a big blogging class. I will include everything from how to start the blog, also like an intermediate kind of class if you're ready have a blog the tricks you need to know that no one teaches and as you guys know I receive a lot of products and I don't have huge numbers like I don't even have thousands and thousands of followers on my social media accounts and everywhere else but it is about the quality of the content so I will teach you all those tricks and I will also talk about the technical aspects especially SEO which is search engine optimization I will talk about HTML coding so basically all resources about technical aspects and especially my experience the things that have worked for me and like I said companies are not looking for big numbers anymore they are looking at engagement they are looking at the quality of your content so all those things I will talk about in my classes and especially like I said the class that I'm working on right now is the blogger class but I will have a YouTube class separately and in that other class I will show you the editing aspect and the technical aspect of YouTube as well I really hope that Pink Orchid Tech will help you guys and any requests that you have you can let me know since right now I am building kind of like the courses and the materials and everything and the reason why it's taking me a little bit to create the big classes which actually they're not just classes it's like a course and inside you will find the tutorials like a video tutorial but besides that there's materials there's uh, worksheets workbooks PDF files and the resources so you will have different materials to work on uh, exercise exercises and things that you can actually learn and that is why it takes a little bit to produce all those things but I want it to be something really helpful for you guys and for you to be able to really learn each of the topics there's so much information you can find out there if you google if you watch videos and things like that but what I'm doing is putting all the information and organizing the information and put it in a way that you guys can actually understand it especially the technical side of it because it could be hard if you don't explain it the right way so that's what I'm trying to do with these courses so again, you can go to Pink Orchid Tech right now, and I have four courses up, but they're just short ones. But the most important thing is to sign up so you will receive the notifications when the big classes are up, and you will receive the freebies and everything else. Alright guys, so that was the first announcement, and now the second announcement is that I actually made a separate Spanish channel. So I will no longer have bilingual videos in this channel. This channel will only be for English videos. I created the second channel just for Spanish videos. So finally, I decided to do that just to try a different strategy to see if that works for me for the Spanish speakers. So it's called Pink Orchid Makeup Español. So if you speak English but you still like my Spanish videos, I would really, really appreciate if you could subscribe to my Spanish channel. That will definitely help me a lot. All right, so like I said, in the title of the video, this video will include my February favorites as well as my March favorites and I wanted to combine both of them because I've been holding to film the February favorites since like weeks ago and I couldn't really do it and now that March came in already, I just want to finish both of them. So it is quite a few products but I will try to go through them very quickly. So first I'm going to start with the skincare and first I'm going to start with cleansers. And starting with the oldest one and actually an empty. This is by the brand Borghese and this cleanser is called Fango Purificante 
which is basically a purifying clay cleanser. So if you're not familiar with this brand, it's been around for years actually, but not a lot of people talk about it here in the US. This is really famous in Europe, but this basically is a cleanser that purifies your skin, but it also acts like a mask. So I don't use this every day. This is like a two or three times a week product and it's really amazing to cleanse your skin and get rid of impurities and things like that. So I definitely recommend it for all types of skin just to purify your skin and get rid of impurities. The next one is this one by the brand Ayoko and I think that's how you pronounce it. And this one is a nourishing rose hip seed cleanser. What I love about this cleanser is that first of all it smells like roses and I love anything that smells like roses but it only has a few ingredients in there and they're all like seeds and botanical uh, ingredients looks like. But basically it's great for removing your makeup and cleansing your skin at the same time and it doesn't dry out my skin. Like I read it's like a nourishing one so it's really great if you have uh, dry skin and it really removes everything. Alright, so the next one is this Essential Sea Cleanser by Mirad and I love their products. I've been trying them for years and this one is a new one that I haven't tried before. This is a patented antioxidant rich formula that cleanses and rehydrates environmentally damaged skin. And this is exactly what my skin is usually all the time. I love it because it cleanses the skin so well. I also love that it contains vitamins A, C, and E to defend the skin and it leaves it like hydrated and refreshed especially so I love this in the morning and the last cleanser I've been trying is this one by Pure Lease and this you guys I love it so much this is the newest one I have tried and this is called Pure Delicate Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover and that's exactly why I love it I not only use it as a cleanser but to remove my makeup this one is for all skin types but for my dry skin it doesn't dry out my skin or anything and I love that it's 4 in 1 it's a uh, sulfate free non-drying gentle washes away dirt and makeup even mascara suits and tones skin and the ingredients here are just great I actually uh, have another product from a pure list that I will talk about it's an eye serum but so far I've been loving their products and like they claim it's very gentle and I love that it has white tea that calms and suits the sensitive skin, protects from cellular damage, blue lotus extract leaves skin soft, supple and silky and I can just continue to read on and on. I probably will have a more in-depth review on my blog but so far I love it, love it and especially as a makeup remover as well. Alright, next I will talk about masks. And I have four to show you and I will try to go very quickly with this guys because I have a few more products to show you. Alright, the first one is this one by Cicely Paris and this one is called Express Flower Gel Hydrating and Toning Mask. And it does just what it says. It's very hydrating. My skin feels really soft after I apply it. And I love that it's not really a thick mask or anything. It's just like a lotion and you put it on and a few minutes after the skin feels so soft. And you can actually leave the uh, residues uh, like on the skin. Like you don't have to wash it off. It's very hydrating. Alright, the next one is this one by Derma E. And this is a purifying 2-in-1 charcoal mask. Now this one, it's also great for oily skin, but I love that it doesn't dry out my dry skin. And this is great to cleanse the pores and impurities and things like that. And this one kind of reminds me of the Glam Glow texture. It's kind of like that gray mask that you put on and then you can see like the impurities coming out. So this is great for that. The next one is the Water Sleeping Mask from Laneige. And you guys probably heard about this mask already. It's so amazing. I am recommending this mask to everyone because it's not only for dry skin, but it's for all skin types. And it just leaves your skin so soft. You put it on at night and when you wake up, the skin feels like, like a baby skin. So it's really, really amazing. And I definitely even recommend it for sensitive skin. And the last mask is by this brand, Valentia. And I actually have uh, some reviews from this brand on my blog. I've used them for a few years now. And this is amazing amazing for dry skin this one it's an ultra plumping hydration mask and one of the main reasons why I love this brand is because they're cruelty free and they're alcohol impairment free and this one says it's for all skin types but I do feel it's hydrating so I will definitely recommend it if you have dry skin like me alright guys the next ones are eye serums and I have two to show you and if you know me I am huge on eye serums I started at an early age I think I think I was around 23 years old I started using serums so I 
definitely recommend using serums especially if you are into makeup to cleanse your skin protect your skin but also repairing your skin since an early age and this one it's called the uh, blue lotus 4-in-1 eye adore serum it says it's an intensive hydration plus firms plus brightens plus decreased puffiness who doesn't want that and it definitely does what it says I love it because of that it's very lightweight it dries out really really fast and it's a really great product and the second one is also by the brand Valentia and this one is a true glow eye cream it's a complete anti-wrinkle eye care to nourish the skin diminish dark circles and reduce puffiness again those are the main things that we need for our under eyes especially if you wear makeup all the time and i love that this is very inexpensive also i believe the information on this product well, actually all the products on the description bar if you want to check them out but i definitely recommend this one as well and the final items for skincare are moisturizers and as you can see i have tried a few guys because of course my skin is very dry so i can tell you right off the bat these two right here, this one is from e.l.f. and this is called a Daily Hydration Moisturizer. It's amazing, great, but I do recommend it towards oily skin, normal to oily skin. It doesn't really do a lot to my dry skin, like I need something more intense in my case. The second one that I would recommend for all skin types, especially for oily and normal, is this one by IT Cosmetics and it's called IT Confidence. Oh, IT Confidence in a Cream. This one is great, it's a great moisturizer, the ingredients are natural and all that, but I feel like it's not enough for my dry skin, so I definitely, definitely recommend it for oily and normal skin. Now for the ones that have worked for my dry skin are these four. Let me start with this one by Belief. This one, I've been using it for a couple months now. I tried it back in October at the Ipsy event and I love it, love it, love it so much. This one is the gel. This is a True Cream Aqua Balm and it's amazing it refreshes your skin very hydrating and it really calms my irritated dry skin now for something a little bit thicker like for nighttime is this one by the brand Nash again and this is the uh, water bank moisture cream and this is actually specifically for normal to dry skin so if you have dry skin i highly highly recommend this one especially for nighttime and the areas that are more dry and you have dry patches and things like that this is an amazing moisturizer for that now on the same note as that one is the pure lease and it's called a uh, pure moist hydro balance moisturizer this one is kind of like on the same range as the Laneige one. This is for normal to dry skin and it's also sensitive and anti-aging and the same thing. I love it because of the same reasons I told you about the um, cleanser. It has the lotus, it has white tea and ingredients are really really great to calm dry and sensitive skin. So I definitely love this one. And the last one is the Murad Essential C Moisturizer and this is perfect for the daytime and it also has SPF, it has SPF of 30 so this one is more for like a daytime, it's very lightweight so this is great for all types of skin but I definitely love it for dry skin as well. Alright guys, now for the makeup category, I will start with brushes and I am not going to show you each of these brushes individually but I will tell you that I've been loving these brushes from Loxy brushes. These are the uh, brushes with the pink handle. Love, love, love the quality of these brushes. It's amazing. I've been using them for myself and also uh, for my freelance makeup kits. They're really great. Next is It Cosmetics. And if you guys have tried these, these are amazing. They're so soft. This is the Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection. It has like an all over side and it has the conceal side. I love this brush. I use it all the time. Then as a blending brush, I am loving this Lancome brush. And this is a, let me see. Actually, it doesn't say. I probably have it somewhere, but I will tell you out in the description box. But it's amazing for blending. And now for the more affordable side, I have e.l.f. brushes and Wet n Wild brushes. And you guys, you know if you follow me on my social media channels that I've been talking about these brushes so much and they're just amazing. These are the new uh, brushes from Wear Wild. The packaging is beautiful. They're white and pink 
and they're just amazing. The quality is great and the price, you cannot beat that. And for e.l.f. brushes, I've been loving these three and I actually received a couple more which I will probably have it on the next favorites video. But this one is the Precision Contour, I think. This is great, great, great for sculpting and all that. This one is the crease brush. It's great for blending out the eyeshadows. And this one is the angle blush brush, which I love it also. And the quality of these are amazing as well as the prices. And finally, this sponge by Real Techniques. And I know that this one came out a long time ago, but I actually just got to try this and I really, really love it. It's very soft, it blends really well, and I love the slanted part, which you can reach like the areas for the concealer, the nose, and things like that. So really, really recommend it. Alright, so now for eyebrows. I've been loving four products. This one is by Lancome and it's kind of like a pomade but what I love about this is that it's not so pigmented but you guys, this one, you apply it and you can build the color so it's not like the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade which you have to be really really careful because it's so pigmented that sometimes you can go so strong on the brows but this one is great for just building the color so I really love the formula on this one the color is Chatein if you wonder and this is called Sources Gel Waterproof Eyebrow Gel Cream Now for eyebrow pencils, I've been loving this one from Lancome as well. This is called the uh, Les Sorcil Stephanie's Brow Expert. And I have a few pictures on my Instagram wearing this one. Actually, I have pictures on my Instagram for all of these if you want to see the swatches and everything. The one I have right now is the one by Maybelline, which I will mention right now. This is called the Brow Define Plus Fill Duo. It has like a, a sponge applicator with powder. And it also has the side of the pencil and actually to be honest guys I never found like a drugstore pencil that I really really love and this one was the exception I love this one the pigmentation is great and the tip is very fine so you can create the line and just build on the color and the last one is this one by Makeup Forever and this is the newest sculpting line this is called a Pro Sculpting Brow 3-in-1 it has the pencil side it also has the spoolie side and it has a highlight in the middle as you can see so this is a great product I love the pigmentation and I have two because this one is more for blonde and this is the one I use which is number 30 alright guys so now for mascara I've been loving these three the first one is this covergirl plummy 5 mascara and the wand is super super thick but I really love it. The formula is great because it's not too wet, it's not too dry. Actually, that's what these three have in common. The formula is not too wet, not too dry, and that's what I love about mascaras. But I also I look at the, uh, the wand, which that one I love. Then the next one is this Pure a Fully Charged Mascara, which is the one I have on today. I love it. It's not very dry, like I said, not very wet. This is what the brush looks like. And it's so great for volume and lengthening. Actually, the three of them have the same properties. They're great for volume and length. And finally, this one by It Cosmetics. And this is the um, Superhero by It Cosmetics. And this is what the one looks like. And I love the formula also. Alright, now for eyeshadow palettes. I've been using and loving these two only. This one is the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bons Palette. And it actually broke on me, like this came out, but it's okay, I love it so much, the colors are beautiful, I truly love the pigmentation, everything about this palette, as usual with Too Faced, and I actually want to get the new uh, Sweet Peach palette that it's coming out, oh my god you guys, peach is my favorite fruit, so I love that palette, I already know it, and the colors look beautiful too. And the second one is the brand Borghese, and this is an amazing neutral palette. Look at the packaging, it's kind of like a leathery packaging and look at the colors. They're so pigmented, they have different finishes, satin, matte and shimmery and I love it, love it so much. So next I'm going to show you my favorite eyeliners. This one you cannot see the brand anymore but this is the MYC Black Liner. I love it so much, i use it for so long now and it's still one of my favorites. Next is this e.l.f. Precision Liner. It's called Precision Liquid Liner. And again, if you go to my Instagram, you will be able to see the pictures when I use each of these. And the last one is this by Lancome, and this is the Arts Liner. 
Now for eyeshadow primer, I've been loving this one by Elizabeth Moth and this is called Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. It's great. I love it. It's very creamy. The eyeshadows blend so nicely and it does make the eyeshadows look more vibrant. Next for concealer and color correcting, I've been using these two. The first one is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. I love it. It brightens my eyes. It's just very full coverage and I love it. And the color correcting, this is the YSL Touche Eclat Neutralizer and this is a violet one. I have a full review on my blog if you want to see more details. But basically, it's just to correct the uh, yellow under the eyes and any dullness and things like that. Now for lips, I've been loving bright colors you guys and if you have seen my latest pictures on my social media they're very bright lips I have used this one on my recent picture this is the orange look I've used this pink one and this also from MYX and all the names will be on the pictures and also I've been loving the Makeup Forever uh, Pro Sculpting Lips very creamy pigmented and the last ones I wanted to mention are these from Nude Sticks these, I tried them for the first time uh, back in January at the Ipsy events, and oh my god, you guys, these are amazing. So pretty much it's like a lip crayon, and they're matte. But the thing about these is that they are so, so lightweight, you cannot feel that you have a lipstick on. It's incredible. You need to try it so you can uh, realize how it feels. But the pigmentation is beautiful. They're just matte, and they're very lightweight. You will not feel them. So I totally, absolutely love these. And talking about long wearing lipsticks and lip products, I have two products that actually remove those uh, lip stains and liquid lipsticks and all that. The first one is the NYX Be Gone Lip Color Remover. And the second one is actually by e.l.f. And both of these do the same thing. They just help remove liquid lipsticks and lip stains and they work great, great, great. And the final products are face products. First, let me show you face primers. So my two favorite primers have been these two from Makeup Forever. These are the Step 1 Equalizers. And this one is the uh, Nourishing Primer. And the second one is the Hydrating Primer. I love both of them, but I feel like the Hydrating Primer is even more hydrating when you have stressed out skin and you have dry patches and things like that. For foundation, I've been loving these three. The first one is the CC Cream by It Cosmetics. It's amazing. I have used it for months now and I absolutely love it. This is the CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. Love it, love it, love it so much. The next one I've been loving is this one by Pure Cosmetics and this is the Hydra Fluid Foundation. I have two because I have to mix these two colors. This is the light and this is the medium. So I mix them to get my perfect color and I love it so much. It's medium to full coverage and it's so hydrating. Very, very nice. It's not like a dewy dewy finish, but it's just very like a satin finish, like a veil kind of finish. So I love them. The next product is this right here, which is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And this is the new uh, Lumi Cushion Foundation. And I absolutely love it. Just as much as the other uh, True Match Lumi, the regular one that comes in the bottle. Now, the only thing I would say about this foundation is that I find it so pricey. The packaging is beautiful, everything is great about this foundation except that it's really really pricey. So it is definitely a great foundation for an everyday foundation, but as far as the price, I would say that this is great for traveling. So if you're traveling, this is perfect, it's small, it's compact, and it's just a great foundation in general. But definitely for an everyday and spending like, I think it's up to $17 at some drugstores. So I would say it is a little bit pricey to be a drugstore foundation. Other than that, it's amazing. Now for highlight and contour, I've been loving these two products. This is the one I showed on my Instagram. I did like a small video and I also have a tutorial using this. And this is the Pure Cosmetics uh, Cameo Contour. It's a dual ended contour foundation. This is in the color medium. So this is the contour side and then it comes with the highlighting side like this. I absolutely love this product so much. It's super blendable. It is so easy to do the contour and highlight with this, guys. If you haven't tried it, it is a must. I have recommended this to everyone that I know because it is that good. It just blends out so nicely and it's like a natural contour and highlight. But if you want to do more of a dramatic look, you can apply more and then, you know, it's 
more concentrated but I definitely love this one. And in the same range of cream contour and highlight, I have this newer one by Makeup Forever and this is the Pro Sculpting Palette. This is the 4-in-1 Face Contouring Palette. It comes with a highlight, a contour, a shimmer, and a color, which is like a blush, like a cream blush. This one is the shimmer, then the contour, and then the highlights. Absolutely amazing as well. Super blendable, just as the uh, Pure Cosmetics one. I love it so much. And this one is in the color 30. I also have the color 40, but it's too dark for my skin, so I use it for my freelance makeup kit. Now, something I've been doing for months, and I haven't mentioned this on my channel, is I've been using a transition color, transition shade, before I apply my contour and highlight. And what I've been using is this palette by Hourglass. This is not a new product. This came out a long time ago. And this has the ambient lighting colors. What I do is I use these powders just as a transition. Just as we do with the eyeshadows, I use this for the face. So I apply the bronzer first to warm up my face. Now on top of that, I will apply the regular contour powder or the bronzer. Then this powder, I will use it as a highlight powder before I use the actual highlights on top of my blush. And then the middle one is just like a sheen, but it's like a very subtle sheen. So I apply it on top of the highlighter or also to the areas uh, where I apply concealer or any cream uh, highlighting products. So I absolutely love this palette for that to create a transition between the other uh, bronzers, highlighters, and the other powders. Then my favorite bronzer has been the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I got this at the show and I've been using it non-stop. It is very pigmented, so like I said, I use the Hourglass Lighting Palette just as a transition and then I add a little bit of this. Now for blush, I've been using this palette by City Color Cosmetics and this is the Timeless Beauty Palette. It's absolutely beautiful. It has a row of blushes and a row of highlights, which actually I have been using the highlights as well. And speaking about highlighters, I've been using the trio also from City Color Cosmetics. And this is the highlight trio. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And the other two highlighters I've been using non-stop are these from Ofra Cosmetics. The first one is this one and it's called You Do You. And this is actually the collaboration that Ofra made with Dupedad. If you follow that account on Instagram, it's called Dupedad. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And the second one is an eyeshadow and highlighter and it's called Bliss. I actually have a few looks using these products on my Instagram, so if you want to check that out, I have a couple looks using them. This is a beautiful shade as well. Alright guys, so those were all the makeup products, but I actually said that those were the last products to show you, but I forgot I had a couple of hair care products, so really, really quickly, I will show them to you. So starting with shampoo and conditioner, I've been using these two, and these are already empty completely. Actually, I have a really long hair, so I go through shampoo and conditioner very quickly. So these are the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. Uh, I received these from Influencer and I absolutely love them. These are great if you have dry hair, if you use tools to style your hair and all that. This one, the shampoo, contains a couple of oils. It's like an oil complex. It has argan, chamomile, coconut, amla, soha, and some flour. And these are truly, truly moisturizing for your hair. And the conditioner just leaves the hair so soft. I absolutely love them. And then for volume, I've been using this new line by Matrix. And guys, it smells so good. They have a rose scent. And this one is called Oil Wonders Volume Rose. It's a shampoo for fine hair. And the conditioner, it's called Oil Wonders Volume Rose. So these two are amazing for volume and like I said, they smell so good. And I actually have a couple more products from the same line, but I will show you that in a different video because I've been testing them out. I'll probably have a review on my blog as well. Now for heat protection, I've been using these two by Matrix. This one is called is Style Ink Heat Buffer and it's a thermal styling spray. And then this one, it's called So Long Damage Iron Tamer Heat Protective Lotion. So this is a little bit thicker, but they both work great. And especially if you style your hair a lot, you definitely need heat protection. Now for hair care repair, I've been using these two products. So these go after the shampoo and the conditioner. This is from the same line as the one from L'Oreal and it's the Extraordinary Oil. And this is a lightweight, non-greasy living treatment. I've been loving this so, so much. It doesn't weigh my hair down 
especially since I want some volume and that's why I've been using the other uh, volume line from Matrix and this does not weigh my hair down and it's really really great it smells just like the shampoo and conditioner and it has all those oils that I mentioned and then this one from Matrix this is kind of like a multitasker product and it's called Miracle Creator oh and it actually says multitasking treatment this has 20 ingredients in one or 20 benefits uh, let me read some of them to you it has 20 beautifying benefits for your hair living for nourishment boosts shine smooth cuticle helps prevent breakage from brushing adds moisture helps prevent heat damage helps fight frizz helps even out porosity and minimizes damage and I can just continue reading on and on but this is an amazing product and I've been loving it as well all right next is this shower cap and look how cute this is this is by the brand eSalon and I've been loving it so much especially because you can actually wash it this has like a towel material inside so it's very easy to dry you let it dry and it dries very quickly and I really love how it fits and it's very sturdy so it definitely will last for a long long time next are hairsprays and I've been loving, loving, loving these three so much. The first one is also by Matrix and it's the same line as the Style Ink. And this is called Style Fixer Finishing Hairspray. It has a hole of five, which is the highest one. And it is so lightweight, like it doesn't feel crunchy or anything like that. Now the same thing goes with the next one that I'm going to show you, which is this one. This is by the brand Way. This is the famous brand that it's going around created by Jen Atkins, a celebrity stylist. And this is the one used by the Kardashians and other celebrities, as well as Desi Perkins and other Ipsy stylists. And I really, really love it. And like I said, as the other one, it is so lightweight, you guys. When you apply it, it feels like air. And it's not crunchy at all. And it leaves your hair very, very manageable. So I love it for that reason. And the quality is truly amazing. And the last one is this one, also by Matrix. And this is the Rose line this is the volume one it's called oil wonders volume rose finishing spray and this smells so good you guys so if you like roses like me you're gonna love this one as well and look how huge it is this is gonna last for a long time as well and now the final 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 products are these dry shampoos and conditioners actually just one dry conditioner now let me show you the dry shampoos first so these two have been my favorite and as you guys know I use dry shampoo every single day because my hair gets really really greasy at the roots so I have tried a ton a ton of dry shampoos and right now these are my current favorites like I said this one is by Eva NYC and this is the um, dry shampoo cleans without water absorbs excess oil and keeps hair fresh longer and the second one has been a long time favorite of mine and it's the chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk now I try the other version which is the color version like they have for brunettes and for blondes but I actually didn't like it as much as the original formula which I don't really mind and um, that it leaves a little bit of white but you can just you know wash it off not wash it off sorry like brush it off really quickly so yes I definitely love this one and for dry conditioner which is a new thing that I tried last year is this one also from Eva MYC and it goes with the Eva MYC dry shampoo this dry conditioner is amazing you guys if you have not tried a dry conditioner you definitely need to because it does make a difference after you apply the dry shampoo some of them might leave the hair a little bit harsh so once you apply this it makes your hair so soft and really soft to the touch so I really love that about the dry conditioners and I actually haven't tried another brand just this one but I really love it so I definitely recommend this one all right guys that was a long, long video. I ran out of breath. I think this is one of my longest talking videos I have made probably. But yes, those were all my products from February and March. I will definitely try to do these videos every month so I don't accumulate so many products to show you guys. And I already have a couple of products for the month of April. So stay tuned for that next April's video. Okay beauties, so that is all for this video. Please leave me a comment with any requests that you may have. And also remember to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, all the other social media sites. I have Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. I will leave all the links below and also my website where I have the reviews and other things there. Thank you so much for all your support. God bless you and I will see you on the next video.